Actually, we're now going to talk about the president's speech. The Russian president just finished his speech here, and one of the things he was saying is that he believes that a state-controlled economy, what many people would say exists in this country, is dangerous for Russia. That's uh, something I wanted to talk to you about, Mr. Federico, because obviously uh, you have a, a private business. Yeah, I, I was never concerned about uh, privatization or deprivatization in my country. I believe the trend is a very good one, and uh, important governmental managers are uh, exiting uh, the boards of uh, governmental companies and the public companies, which is uh, definitely good things. But what uh, is more important in the speech uh, is uh, that um, the president was describing pretty well what's going on in the company, in, the, in, in our country, both in good terms and in bad terms. While we definitely decreased our debt and the economy developing pretty well, we still have uh, pretty important um, systematic issues that uh, should be tackled around. And uh, he was uh, not only describing them well, but also um, creating certain objectives for us to uh, to work on in order to get them and to get them and resolve. Um, the issue today, if we will have enough time to do it. Yeah, I mean, it in fairness, right, there's going to be a presidential election in March. So some might say he's only got six or nine months. But you think the direction itself is important? Yeah, you know, like we have a proverb in Russia, if you know what you're sick about, you're already 50% healthy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I believe he practically described all the current issues of the country very well. Um, let me ask you, obviously, you're, you're a big lender here in Russia through your bank, uh, one of the biggest issuers of credit cards in the country. Um, where is lending right now in comparison? Obviously, uh, most of the lending in Russia is commercial lending, corporate lending. Uh, you lend to consumers. But where, where is lending right now? Because obviously that's needed to get the economy back on track. While in 2008-2009, uh, Russian consumer was waiting. In 2010, he started to be active again uh, in borrowing money. In 2011, was again um, very aggressive in terms of growth of consumer uh, lending market both in consumer loans and credit cards. So we are very happy about that and enjoying the growth. You were also the owner of uh, Russian Standard Vodka, Russia's leading premium vodka. You were talking about buying Nemirov, the Ukrainian brand. Still on the table or have you decided against that? The desire is there. The problem with Nemirov is there are three shareholders there and they're in conflict today. And, uh, the conflict is pretty big. It's not very good for the brand. So it was the only reason why I didn't buy it.